Today we're responding to a request by viewer Jan Richards, who wrote to us requesting that we have a clean eating recipe on our food segment. What is clean eating? Well, in simple terms, it's eating foods in the most natural state where you found them. That means instead of going to the grocery store and buying that boxed item that you might find on the shelves, you're gonna buy the natural ingredients Spend a little extra time, put it together, and you will have a clean meal. And today, our clean eating recipe is taco salad in the jar. A natural We got state. the jars. We got the jars. Uh, I guess that, and it's clean jar. I would hope so. Arizona's a natural state, right? So we need to go to Arizona to get all of our That's food? the best guacamole I hear. Well, we're going to try our best here in in Ohio, and we're going to start out with our recipe by making the dressing. You know, even the dressings that you get in the store aren't always filled with the right kind of stuff. So we are going to make a creamy salsa dressing, which we're going to use as a top. All right, guys, here's what you need to do. All right. Mark, I want you to juice that lime. Alrighty. Andy, here is an avocado. Mm. As you can see, it looks dirty and yucky on the outside. That is a sign that it is ready to eat because take a look at the inside. Oh, wow. Beautiful green. And I nice suppose there's a biblical lesson in that, that it can look think, yucky and gross on the outside. I have been wanting to write a devotional about that very but same thing. But it's the thing. inside that's what yes. matters. So I need you to take two tablespoons of that avocado and put it right here into our mixing bowl. Mark, when you've got the lime juice, go ahead and put that in oh, our mixing really bowl. Soft. Well, yep, that's why you want to have the soft avocado when you purchase it from the store. That's why it's Where ready, put in ready yes. to go. Yep, put it right in there. Just two tablespoons of that. So we're putting in um, two tablespoons of ripe mashed avocado, juice of one lime, a quarter cup salsa, go ahead and grab that salsa, and then two tablespoons of plain Greek yogurt. Oh, I thought that was sour cream. Oh, no, 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 it's not. It is Greek yogurt. This is the dressing that is optional that we're going to put on the top of our taco in a jar. Put the lid on here. And then... You're going to ninja it up? You go ahead. Just press the top. All right. There we go. Our dressing is done. Wow. We'll that was the, quick and easy. We'll set that aside, and we'll come back to that well, we a little bit later. Okay. Time now to assemble our taco salad in a jar. And here are the ingredients that we have. Fat, half a pound of ground turkey. Your sheet says turkey. skinny taco salad, I would like it to know. It does. I have removed the word skinny simply because we have chosen to use beef, and some people will say oh. that that adds more, more oh. fat in. Okay. But um, I think you can do this either with turkey or ground beef. So we've got beef, and then take a look. Instead of just going to the store and buying the packaged taco seasoning, we added in a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of cumin, a quarter teaspoon of garlic powder, and sea salt. And we just put all of those spices in, and you've got the items you need. Got some extra items as well. We've got three cups of romaine lettuce, half a cup tortilla chips broken up, half a cup of cheddar cheese, one cup of halved cherry tomatoes, and then we also have a half a cup of salsa. Okay, guys, so now we just simply need to assemble this. Took probably about 10 minutes time to actually get the ingredients ready. This is something you want to do ahead of time. You're going to use this for lunches, possibly for the next couple days. So you shouldn't do this for your home TV segment? Well, certainly you can do this at home too. Oh, okay. But if you need a healthy lunch on the go, this could be a healthy option for you. All right, guys, to make your salad, first take the tortilla chips and divide them between the two jars. <laughs> We're just going to layer things now. Do the chips get soggy when you put them at the bottom? Well, no, actually, because the lettuce is going oh, to protect them. Okay. See, Mark is, Mark is being a very giving person. Look, he gave Did you I get extra. More? Thank you, Mark. Well, what can I say? <laughs> All right, next lettuce? step, layer, oh, layer with half the cheese. Half the cheese. So this is cheddar cheese. Um, if you buy the taco seasoning cheese in the store, again, you never really know what kind of seasonings you're getting into it. Mm -hmm. So the more that you can pick things in the natural state, the better. Next, it's the lettuce. Half the lettuce goes in each of the jars. The guys did wash their hands. Don't worry, I made sure that they would because I told them they'd be handling the food. To answer your question, the lettuce is protecting the chips from is getting really? soggy. So here, do you need to use all the lettuce? Yep, you want to okay. put each, you want to do half the lettuce in there. Go ahead and stuff it down. You can get a lot of stuff in there. Um, lettuce, I'm of course, contains a lot of a water. Candy. It's a low carb um, thing that you can eat. And this is romaine lettuce that we are using. How are you doing, guys? Did you taste it already? The cheese. You did. Okay. 
Coming up next, it's time for the meat mixture. So half of the meat mixture what makes goes. It a mixture? Well, because we put the seasoning in it. Oh, the seasoning. I got you. What was the yep. You want me to pour it? Yes. So as you can see, we, possibly you might want to have a funnel when you were doing this kind or of thing. Or wider jars. Well, those are wide mouth hands. jars. Pam's not going to be happy with me. Actually, what did I get? You've got a wide mouth jar. Maybe you don't have a wide mouth jar. All right. Push it on. A, there actually are devices that you can get that would, um, you can press things down. You can get kind of a masher that doesn't mash the food. So that's another option. Next, you need the tomatoes, cherry tomatoes on top. There you go. Thank you. Now you can see Mark is being, mm. Mark is not taking half. You don't have to. You can make this exactly the way that you like. Maybe you like more meat. Maybe you like more vegetables. Or less cherry tomatoes. Yeah, less cherry tomatoes. cherry tomatoes. That's true. Hey, this is perfect. So They're now making lunch for what me. What about the salsa? Next will last? be the salsa and the avocado dressing. Yep, those are last. Because mm -hmm. if you think about it, do you want the wet stuff at the bottom next to the, cor the corn chips? I thought we were making guacamole. Not today. Would you guys like to see us make guacamole? We responded to Jan Richard's request for a clean recipe. Maybe you want to tell us what you'd like to see. Now we're adding that um, avocado dressing Creamy. on the top, which is an optional thing. Some people don't like the dressing. If you are trying to make it as healthful as possible, then the dressing might be the thing you're going to pull off. Okay, guys, you want to put lids on. I guess I've got... Thank you. That's awesome. Seal it tightly. Put it in the refrigerator. It should stay good for a couple days, so you want to consume it within a couple days. But when you're ready, all you have to do is take your jar, dump it out. Don't you want to shake it up a little bit, get some of that nope. dressing all around it? Not uh -oh. yet. Not too late. Not yet. Not if you're, well, if you're going to eat it first, yes. But if you're going to wait for a couple days, leave it just the way it is. How many days can you unshake and how many days can you leave Only it about the two. Okay. Because of all the things inside of it, right. yeah, you, you once, once the wet stuff gets down to the lettuce, you, you want to eat I that. I think the avocado is just one day. Well, that's just for guacamole. Well, avocado, it depends. You know, we've actually now changed the avocado a little bit because we've added things into oh, we it. Oh, changed it? Chemistry in Chemical the Chemical change? Yeah, that's right. I thought there was no chemistry involved. This is all natural whole foods. Oh. This is godly chemistry. God designed it to work this way. Okay, so here so you go. Days. One to two days, when you're ready to eat this, all you have to do is get your bowl out, pour it into the bowl. You can't just go straight from the jar to your mouth? Well, Isn't you're that the natural state without using the dishes? Get an ice cream spoon. One of those words we're going to we're gonna take pictures of the guys gonna gulping it. down their skinny taco in a jar. It's a wide mouth, not skinny.